In May 2020, ehrlichiosis, a deadly tick-borne disease, was first identified in Western Australia's Kimberley region. Since then, it's been wreaking havoc across remote and rural Indigenous communities and poses a significant threat to the dogs that live there. Katrina, what are the symptoms and how is ehrlichiosis treated? The really common symptoms would be the dog becomes lethargic, very tired, they don't want to eat, and they just become generally very unwell. They might get cloudy eyes and maybe some conjunctivitis and um, you know, severe weight loss. And how big a problem is it in remote Indigenous communities? It's a really big problem. Of course, there is a lack of access to veterinary services and antiparasitic treatments within remote communities. And so that means that community members can't treat their own animals usually for yes. tick burdens. Um, and brown dog tick is how leukiosis is spread. And it's actually a totally preventable disease, yet it is endemic across many regions in Northern Australia, really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So a lot of the remote communities that we visit, as well as areas of WA and now Queensland, are seeing leukiosis spread through those communities. And that's obviously due to the fact that there are limited veterinary services yes. and often limited education around and access to antiparasitic treatments that can prevent um, them being um, bitten by ticks. Okay, in the first place. So we're not all protected by it, really. We like to think we might be, but like anything, if dogs are moving into regions, it's been found in northern South Australia as well, hasn't it? That's so correct. there is potential that it, it can spread. Yeah, definitely. And so there has been isolated cases um, of dogs travelling to different areas where mm -hmm. you wouldn't normally see brown dog ticks, but usually the disease will stay within the area where we see brown dog ticks, which is mostly northern Australia. OK, yeah. all right. So what is AMRIC doing to try and help stamp this out and make sure our dogs are protected? Yeah, so obviously because it's endemic now, it's an ongoing issue within mm. remote communities, but as an organisation, we rose a lot of awareness over the past sort of 18 months yes. regarding this disease and really our main aim was to support remote communities and so we were able to do that through some really large donations of antiparasitics yes. and we were able to get thousands of doses and distribute them to hundreds of communities. That was done through donations and supporters of AMRIC. We also have been to Canberra to speak to politicians in regards to the disease and the effects it's been having and generally trying to give remote communities support. Yeah, okay, so they need the parasite protection, they need the awareness obviously, and it is a message for any dog owner or pet owner just to make sure the parasite control is up to date. Okay, thank you very much, Katrina. Don't forget, AMRIC does need your support to help these local communities really get on top of some of the major issues that they're facing. So visit amric.org. Thank you. You're welcome.